Today we're going to walk through what's new in Smart Assessment Engine as of July 2025 with a spotlight on all of the updates from Zurich. We'll walk through the latest enhancements, highlight what's changed, and then jump into a demo showcasing the new features. Within the Zurich release, we're re introducing scoring normalization within SAE Core. When you're collecting assessment data from multiple teams or domains, you often run into different scoring scales. Some might use 1 to 5, others 0 to 100, or even high, medium, low scales. SAE makes this, this simple by allowing you to normalize all those scores in a consistent user-defined scale. This ensures that you're always comparing apples to apples regardless of how the data was originally scored. This not only removes the complexity of aggregating across various scoring models, but also improves the accuracy of your insights and decision making. As shown here, users can configure a default normalization strategy, set min-max scale values, and define how scores should be interpreted in scale. Ultimately, normalization helps create a uniform scoring model so you can confidently compare metrics, prioritize the risks, and take smarter action across the board. Next, within SAE for Zurich, we're introducing multi-user collaboration capabilities designed to transform how multi stakeholders' assessments are completed. First, it enables multiple users to co-author, review, and comment on assessments at the same time, right within the platform. No more versioning issues or juggling feedback across emails and spreadsheets. Second, this reduces the need for manual coordination and offline back and forth. It helps en enhance transparency and traceability, so every contributor's input is visible and auditable. This significantly will accelerate the time it takes to close out the assessment. And finally, by aligning all the stakeholders in real time, we drive faster and more accurate assessments. Everyone will be on the same page, literally working within SAE, leading to stronger outcomes and less rework. What you see on the left is a collaboration pane where contributors, contributors can engage directly with the questions, assign owners, and track responses all in one place. Next, we are going to walk through the new normalization functionality in Zurich. This feature allows you to bring all scores into a consistent range, making it easier to compare results and aggregate them across your assessment. We'll go step by step to see how you can set up normalization at different levels, from individual questions to applying a default strategy across the whole assessment. We'll begin in the Smart Assessment Workspace. This is the main work workspace where you can build and manage your risk product assessments. Now we'll go ahead and jump into an assessment to view the new normalization functionality. From here, we'll navigate over into the scoring tab. This is where scoring can be turned on for the assessment. Once we enable the scoring, you're gonna notice a new normalization option appear, which is a new feature we'll be working with today. Within the assessment score settings, you have the option to average a score from all questions into one overall score. When checked, use normalized score for aggregation. This will ensure that all scores are scaled to the same range before they're combined. Now with all the functionality turned on for normalization, each of the questions can be assigned its own normalization scale. We'll go ahead and click into the questions tab. We'll go ahead and jump into a question. Here is an example of an individual question for the recent mergers. It is set up so a yes score is a 10 and a no score is a zero. By opening up the setup normalization feature, you're gonna be able to choose the normalization strategy, which can be configured for your organization. And this will show how we choose to adjust or transform these scores. You can enable additional strategies as your organization needs and the assessment manager can define which, when each strategy should be used. We'll go ahead and choose the linear, linear strategy for this example. From here, you can define what's the min and the max. We'll go ahead and put zero for the min, 10 for the max. Then you can define what the new scale, scale will be or what the scale will be modified or transformed to. This can be a score of zero to 100, for example. In the scale definition field, this is where you define whether higher numbers are better or worse. For example, if a high is selected, then a 10 is better than a 5. If low is selected, then a 1 might be better than a 10. 
we'll go ahead and select high. Within the relative scaling field, it let us, lets us bring all baselines to the same starting point so scores can be compared more fairly. You can select yes or no to enable this. Once completed, you can go ahead and set the strategy at the question level. If you want consistency across the whole assessment rather than at the question level, you can set up default normalization so you don't have to repeat the sex settings for each question or section. Jump back into the scoring to show you how to do that. In order to set up the default normalization, you can go ahead and click the checkbox here, and it will allow you to set up the defaults across the assessment. The default setup works just like the question level normalization, where you define the min, the max values, scale the transformations, and set up the relative scaling as well as the scale definition. The only difference here is you're able to decide whether normalization applies across the entire assessment, specific sections, subsections, or questions. Once enabled, the default strategy carries over and all you need to do is turn on the scoring associated to each question and the normalization default will carry over. Within Zurich's normalization features, you can configure scoring in a flexible way, from individual questions to entire assessments while keeping results consistent and comparable. This ensures you get clearer insights and more reliable basis for decision making across your assessment. Now we will go into the de demo showcasing the new contributor management features introduced in the Zurich release for Smart Assessment. We'll walk through how contributors can be added, managed, and how collaboration can work within an assessment. Right now I'm logged in as Able Tutor, and he's going to be the owner of this assessment, and I'm currently on a Smart Assessment for a Control Attestation. This is where you can con manage your contributors. On the right hand side here, Able can click into this, this icon here and look at the contributors associated to this assessment. Only Able at this point has been added because he is the main point of contact for this assessment. To add more collaborators, Able can click the Add button at the top right hand corner. And this is useful when you need to have multiple people contribute. Go ahead and add two additional contributors. This this feature is especially helpful for long assessments or third-party assessments that will require inputs from different teams. As the owner, Able can go in and remove users as needed if they are no longer needed to answer part of the assessment. Now I've logged in as Abraham Lincoln to show you what he would view as a collaborator. Abraham Lincoln will now have access to the specific assessment he needs to collaborate on, and he can go in and answer questions as necessary. He can additionally see that Able Tutor is also on a specific assessment, and then he can also see what was updated and who updated the last question. Any updates that Abraham Lincoln makes, additionally, Able, the owner, and Adela will be able to see who updated which question. Just jumping briefly back into Able Tutor's view, the owner of the assessment, he can see now that the question was last responded to by Abraham Lincoln, and if needed, they can collaborate on any updates that need to happen. With any record in ServiceNow, you also have your comments, so you can co collaborate and add comments directly into a record so that individuals can see and update each other on what has been done. That concludes our demo of the SAE Contributor Management feature in the Zurich release. These enhancements make it easier to collaborate across different departments and ensure assessments are completed efficiently and effectively.